the mayor and the CDC are quite complementary to each other. But basically, it can be summarised in, in three words, uh, to aggregate, to build and to connect. Uh, really, at the CDC, we're trying to bring together as many resources as possible so that we can expand and build on that network and then connect these to the ground level. For Southeast CDC, we are very strong in our belief as a social broker. Uh, so meaning that we kind of you know, aggregate all the resources that we have uh, within the district, business owners, stakeholders, and then we see how best we can actually uh, assist the community. First one is actually because of the nature of Southeast uh, CDC or district, uh, there's, a, there's a lot, almost about 200 to 300 of uh, religious organisations clans organization. So one of the key things is for me to uh, you know, make sure that uh, we connect with all of them. All right? uh, we increase the uh, awareness uh, with regards to interfaith, with regards to inter-ethnicity. Second one, we talk about, of course, the, the, the issues with regards to job and upskilling. Uh, we are putting our ears on the ground to, to understand uh, the current issues. And hopefully, with that, with our connectivity with corporate partners, with NTUC, E2I, we can bring something together to assist the uh, uh, the community in within the district to overcome this uh, storm that we are facing now. And the last one is about mental wellness. This mental wellness issue is not something trivial, something that I think is uh, alarming, and we need to really uh, you know, focus and put effort and resource. To address things. Right now, in the short term, uh, our focus is really uh, combating the effects of the pandemic. Uh, so we know many people are affected uh, in terms of their jobs, their incomes, and they're worried about the long-term impact uh, of this crisis would have on emotional health, for example. So we want to be able to try uh, to help them as much as possible in the short term. But over the long term, uh, we want to ensure that our programs are sustainable. Uh, it's not just looking ahead at the end of the crisis. We don't know when, when that would occur, so we need to plan way ahead uh, and ensure that uh, in good times, when they return, uh, we have resources and we have programs and we have projects and schemes that would cater for those different times as well. Over at the uh, communal front, we want to be able to build bonds with people to ensure that when such a crisis does happen again, if it does happen again, that we can continue to be stronger together, to be united together. His tip to me is always as simple, stay focused, what you wanted to do. Um, um, always connect to the ground and then after that build that relationship with the stakeholders, corporate owners, the people within the district. What I've really learned from him, from experience, is seeing him on the ground, understanding the needs uh, on the ground and translating that into uh, sustainable projects uh, at the district level so that we are prepared that uh, our district continues to be resilient, uh, continues to have capabilities that we build for our workers, for our SME, for the CDC itself, and also for all our plans to be sustainable and for the long term. And he also said that, uh, you know, uh, if you have any question, any issues or that, just, uh, you know, can always go back to him. And uh, and also told him that he, we also have that six months warranty. Lah, that actually, he, you know, it was just a joke. <laughs> but he was always willing to, to come back and uh, guide me if I need any guidance.